hey y'all let's get into today's vlog it's gonna be a little bit all over the place so stay with me so first off we are starting off in the hair salon i actually got my hair cut about two weeks ago now and i really really love how it turned out if you follow me on either instagram or tiktok then you've already seen my cut and i really love that this blunt style this blunt cut really transitions well both when my hair is straight and when it's curly which is really important for me so this is how that turned out and then literally right after or the following day after getting my hair done we actually me and my sister checked into the ivy in baltimore um for a one night staycation this hotel is really really wonderful guys it is just such a departure from your everyday experience. And one of the things that comes with staying at the property is actually afternoon tea on site, which in itself is such a cool experience. I like that it kind of forces you to slow down and change up a bit of the routine that we might normally have. Plus, it's literally delicious. Like literally everything they serve here is so, so good. So um, I got tea and this tea, I wish I remember the name because it's actually... Um, sold here on the east coast and is by a black owned company it was so so good um definitely super unique just blended beautifully and then of course they had little bites for us to eat as well afterward we were able to just hang out downstairs before going up to our room and as you all can see every bit of this property is beautiful i also love that this is a boutique hotel which means it's much smaller i feel like these days that's what i'm really into is boutique hotels not just because they are usually a really unique experience but also because they're oftentimes a lot smaller and for me that allows you to have a more a unique experience and i just post COVID like that so much more it's way less overwhelming for me so then we picked up some stuff from whole foods because of black friday we got a stand mixer and y'all i've been baking so much i have been baking like crazy i'm actually gonna insert some clips of what i've made so far um so first up i made a pound cake for the first time which was cool. Um, definitely, I recommend Danny Rose here on YouTube. She has some awesome recipes. If you're doing any cooking or if you celebrate holidays, if maybe you're cooking for them and you kind of are at a loss, she's a great resource for really good classic recipes. So I picked up some supplies I needed. Ended up actually taking a lot of this stuff back and finding exactly what I needed from Whole Foods. I'm sorry, not from Whole Foods, from Safeway. This is Whole Foods. Whole Foods had some stuff that was helpful, but not all of the stuff I could actually use. So definitely if you're into baking, check out your local Safeway or your like regular grocer. I feel like not everything needs to be like super fancy and organic. Then I headed to Home Depot because I needed to pick up some cleaning supplies. For those that don't know, I am a housekeeper. So I needed to restock on some things as well as just um, get some supplies that had been completely depleted and yeah this the cleaning section is always something I hit up and it's actually a really good cleaning section in your Home Depot I feel like people don't check there often and they actually have products that I'm usually not able to find anywhere else so if you are looking for something for cleaning your home I definitely recommend visiting your local Home Depot then I headed back to the house to do some cooking and prepping for the week again getting into baking so tonight i was actually baking my last thing for the week which is some cinnamon rolls so so far with my baking kind of adventures i have baked some bread the pound cake and this was my last like baking thing for a while i feel like you gotta break it up because you gotta taste what you make so i'm also trying to keep myself on track with eating healthy so this was my final like kind of treat and after this i'm literally going to take a pause from breaking i'll be looking up some more recipes but i'll be taking a pause from actually baking items because i don't want too many sweets and treats in the house but it's been really really fun and there's been so many cool recipes i've been able to find and try okay y'all so some crumbs i am getting ready to get into some breakfast eating I am hopeful you guys can even hear me. We have so much construction happening on our block. It's crazy. So if you hear anything in the background, it's most likely that. Um, also, randomly, we got a mixer because of Black Friday. And I feel like I have turned into how everybody was in 
March of 2020. And I have been literally in here baking like I have lost my mind. Today I want to make some cinnamon rolls. So I've just taken out all my ingredients so everything can get to room temperature. A very important part apparently of baking. This is like week one, uh, day three of me trying different recipes. So, so far I've made some bread, I've made a cake, and today I'm going to make some cinnamon rolls. Mostly because I've been craving some cinnamon rolls and also because I just want to try one more recipe before I kind of get more strict with my diet. That'll be the last week I can like taste what I'm making. Um, but yeah, that's that. I am working on getting my blogs back. Life has been lifing per usual, which is I feel like how I always talk in these, but that's just life these days. That's just adulthood. But all right, y'all, so like I said, I finished up making some breakfast, and then I also got some ingredients out to finish prepping what I needed for my cinnamon rolls, which came out amazing. I'll be sure to tag the creator whose recipe I followed. Um, I love her content, and that is pretty much it. Like I said, this vlog was all over the place, but I'm going to try to have a more organized one in the next video. So thank you guys for watching, and Take a look at my cinnamon rolls before you go, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.